Woomera, how do you read? Uh, status green, region not in clear. Roger, Canton, how do you read? Uh, status is green, clear with background noise. This is Texas Capcom, region loud and clear. All status is green. Roger, Eglin MNO, how do you read? Eglin MNO, reading you loud and clear. Our status is green. Roger, test 465 is at T minus 24 minutes and counting. Stand by for status, airman. Go. ECS. Go. Sequence. Go. Electrical. Go. ASCS. Go. RCS. Go. Tom. Go. TM. Go. CO. Go. Flight. Go. Tony. I'm go. CO, I have your ready light. Roger. Aramed verify. Ready light. Aramed. Uh, booster interlock to go. Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. Roger. Have a lift off and the clock is operating. That's your clock. Take my seven, base seven on the way. Standing by to start the backup clock. Roger. Three, two, one, mark. Roger, and the backup clock is running. Roger, you look good here, Dodo. Roger, feels good, buddy. Good foot. 30 seconds and fuel is go. Oxygen is go. Cabin pressure on the top peg altimeter is working. Hey, Roger, you're looking beautiful. What an afterburner. That's the beauty of your clock going set. The sun is coming in the window now. Roger, we're standing by for your Beko. Roger. Roger, have Beko. And Step Camp Green, Seco, I'm on off damp. Going fly by wire. Everything is green here. Uh, Space 7. Space 7, this is Canary Capcom. I would like to take this time to say a little prayer to all the people. Thank you for the privilege of being here to be in this position, be up in this wondrous place, and all these very startling, wonderful things that you've created. Be with all our family. Let them know that everything will be okay. Ask you my name. Amen. Hello, Africa. This is astronaut Gordon Cooper speaking from Faith 7. I am right now over 100 miles above Africa speaking to the Zanzibar station. Just a few minutes ago, I passed Addis Ababa. I want to wish success to your leaders there. Good luck to all of you in Africa. Hawaii Capcom, page seven. Go ahead, seven, this is Hawaii, region on. Oh, Roger. I wonder if uh, you'd relay to the Cape a uh, little situation I had happened, see what they think on it. While turning uh, my warning lights off and back on to dim, my O5G telelight came on in my telelight panel. I'm looking for lots of experience on this flight. Here you're going to get it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, squib arm, four, three, two, one, fire. Right here, a green on air. Roger, I think I got all three. All right, how'd you get out of Gordo? Well, pretty fine. And so it ended, 34 hours, 20 minutes, 31 seconds. The flight of a man in space 22 times around the Earth, 540,000 miles, farther than to the moon and back, ended within seconds of its program time and within four and a half miles of the carrier Kearsarge. Oh, Roger, I'd like to come aboard the carrier if uh, they'll grant me permission for an Air Force troop. The flight of Faith 7 was over. A great deal of data was still to be gathered, but from the immediate medical checkout of the astronaut before he emerged from the spacecraft,
Through preliminary post-flight analyses, the flight seemed to have proved man's capability of efficient functioning in a period of prolonged weightlessness in space. As a pilot, astronaut Cooper had come a long way from the time as a six-year-old he was allowed to handle the controls of his father's old single-engine biplane. 